They didn't stop him from being attacked and shot at four times. They didn't stop him from being cut from his seatbelt. They didn't stop the police car from playing a police station train, train the weapon inside of his car. They didn't stop them from stealing his body from the crime scene. They didn't stop them from holding his body for 30 days. They didn't stop my family having to wait 48 days to bury my brother. They didn't stop that. I know that sounds crazy. It sounds like something out of the movies because no one should ever have to go through anything like that. But it's happening. It's happening. And each and every day we see somebody murdered by the police, it's put out there so that we can be desensitized. Fuck that. Okay? Fuck that. I'm tired of turning on the news and seeing someone else murdered by the police. We have these district attorneys that go out of their way to create a case to put us behind bars, but when it comes time for police to go behind bars, they turn into defense attorneys. I have a dream that one day these motherfucking district attorneys will stop playing defense attorneys for these police officers. I have a day, I have a dream that one day we will get justice for all of our loved ones because I'm out here and I'm fighting and I'm walking and I'm stuck to these grounds through whatever I'm going through because guess what? I am my brother's keeper. You know what I mean? I am my brother's keeper. 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 I don't sleep because I'm fighting for justice. I'm doing the things that the so-called system that was supposed to be put in place for us is supposed to be doing. My kids are stumping this ground. If you really, if you're really, really serious about this fight, get your ass out there. Okay? Don't come out, don't come out and act like you've been out there. Come out and be out there and support because this fight is about unity. I don't see a lot of people where I'm at, but guess what? I'm where they're at because guess what? This fight is bigger than me. It's bigger than ego. It's bigger than emotions. It's bigger than money. My brother was murdered and I will never ever give up until he gets his justice. I've met so many people who are heartbroken because they have lost their loved ones and they continue to lose their loved ones. And I'm telling you this, this is not about laughing and joking and, and, and hopping around and all that stuff. This, this is about reality. The reality is we are being murdered. We are under attack. And people laugh and they joke. But guess what? My family today, your family tomorrow. Stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back! Stand up, fight back! Because Stand up, fight back! This is important. This is important. Because there are a lot of people that wanted to be here that couldn't be here. But I'm here and I'm standing. I'm standing for the Petey Perez's. I'm standing for the Kerry Baxter Jr. I'm here for the James Rivera's and the Alan Bluefer. I'm here for the guys in Rose and the, and, and the O'Shea Evans. I'm here. I'm here standing tall for them because guess what? We got to stick together. If one of us can't make it, we got to make sure that we're carrying those voices because guess what? Their lives matter too. You know, you got to watch how you treat people. You got to watch how you treat people because you know what? Someone might come out one day and you may say something and they may never come out again. We got to, we got to unify. We got to stick together because at the end of the day, the system is geared against us. We have to fight the system. We got to make sure that we get justice for all of them. Thank you guys. Thank you.